Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I have card number one for my bonus card for this month's stamps at the Geared Up Garage. And it has coordinating framelits. So if you buy the bundle, you're going to save 10%. And you're also going to want to buy the 6x6 Classic Garage designer series paper. These are double-sided, six by six. I'm using this all month long on all my projects featuring the Geared Up Garage stamp set and framelits. The paper is on low inventory, so if you like the projects I've been showing and will be showing the rest of the month, you're really going to want to get this paper ASAP. Put in your order as soon as possible. You will get the PDF file and all the videos for all the projects for this month using the stamp set, paper, framelits. Place a minimum $50 before shipping and tax order with me. Use this Costas code and it's on my blog www.thestampcamp.com and I will send you the unlock code to get all the PDF file and video all month long. Every Thursday I will have a new video and PDF uploaded for you to check out. So today is the first one in our bonus projects. Very super super easy card. I'm not going to keep you very long. The base of our card is real red. I'm going to fold that in half. The, the PDF file contains all your cutting dimensions and instructions. Then we have a piece of whipped cream that we're going to put on the inside. When it's ever I have a dark colored card, I like to put a white or a lighter color inside. So we're going to just put that on the inside. I'm not going to put a sentiment in or anything in there. If you want to dress up the inside, you can use the little stamp of the nuts. I guess that's what it is on the inside and you could put that on the envelope as well. I'm going to use a piece of the print from our 6x6. It's just the different street signs. This would be a great card for a teenager turning 16 or getting their first car. I'm going to attach that right to the bottom just like that and then I have a little strip of black. Super, super easy. You can either put it right to the top or overlap the two, whichever you prefer. I got a little excess, I'll cut that off. And then I have a black large oval and then a whisper white oval the next size down. We're gonna attach those two. Now if you watched my Tuesday tip, then you've seen my next part. So I'm going to pop this up on the front. Kind of towards the top, overlapping that just a hair. If you take the framelit from your stamp from your framelit set, the car right here, and the car from the paper pack, this is this car right here. So you can die cut that out. You got one up here and one here. You could also, nope, that's just the front end. So you got two out of this one. I wonder if that, maybe the back end. So you don't have to stamp, you can just die cut your paper. So I went ahead and already did that right here. So we have our little car, we're going to just pop that up. Boy, these dimensionals I have are just super sticky. And we're going to put that right there. If you wanted to, you could raise it up a little bit. And you could always stamp a happy birthday sentiment on there. Let's see if I can do it when it's already popped out. So it's kind of perfect. 
So there you have it. That is bonus card number one. I have a bunch more coming for you this month. So make sure to tune in every Thursday. And if you place that minimum $50 order and use my hostess code, you'll get the PDF file along with the video to um, instructions for all this month's gift card holders and all the other projects I have for you. So that is your card for today. Thanks for stopping by.